Hello together. This is Fun with Redux episode 12. So uh, this is an historical moment in the Fun with Redux episodes. Um, of course, I'm alone here. Of course, my colleague Klaus, who is used to sit here, has some um, issues with his family and um, needs to be there and not here in present. So this means um, I will do this uh, Fun with Redux episode uh, alone. Uh, I guess this is this is possible uh, that we that I can do it alone because this topic is uh, yeah friendly to to Klaus and me in, in a both way. It's not something quite specific uh, where Klaus has more um, knowledge in it. So luckily we have an, a nice topic for me. <laughs> and the topic today is um, to import drawings, import uh, DWGs, DXFs, uh, CAD drawings, and uh, background images into Redux. So the way uh, from designs into Redux is our topic today. And uh, today I will show you a lot uh, on, uh, on on yeah, on my PC, uh, on my Redux, uh, and also on my AutoCAD and so on. So it will be a bit of a practical episode. Uh, and uh, I try to show you all the small hints uh, which could help you a lot to import uh, drawings into your Redux. Yeah, um, this is one of the of the most important parts for a lighting designer to to import drawings into into his calculation in this uh, in this uh, special uh, building software. It's not just on lighting. I've also seen on uh, some other disciplines on the building set. Everybody is redrawing rooms, uh, rebuilding uh, models in his special software. And uh, this is really annoying, I have to say. So I, I hope uh, all these techniques, all these options to put rooms into into a uh, special software will be gone with BIM, uh, with Revit, with IFC, with formats for buildings. This is uh, would be a big, big benefit uh, for all the for all the lighting designers, not to redo the building draft, uh, at least what we need in, in lighting the the walls and the ceiling and so on that we have it completely uh, with a digital building um, directly uh, in, in, our, in our application, in our Redux application. But uh, today I have to say, especially for the, for the, for the German speaking countries and here in, in Europe, uh, we, have, we have a lot of more uh, uh, PDFs, DWG files, and even paper sometimes, uh, or spreadsheets with room sizes uh, uh, in, in relation to IFC and Revit models. So, at the moment, we have to deal uh, with this stuff, but um, let's see what what uh, brings the, the future. And yeah, I would like to go uh, to take you directly in my applications and to to show you um, how to do this. But quite quite briefly, this is not an, an, an seminar to to train something on you. It's just to demonstrate and show some parts with which I think which are interesting to you. Okay, so I just allow the uh, uh, just share my screen so you can see my screen again yep so this i can stop and let's start with with an dwg file with an, an autocad file i have prepared i have opened up autocad before um, and this is a typical multi-room one floor drawing uh, in in autocad uh, it's also possible of course uh, to to take it uh, to take all the other CAD applications. Um, I have to say, from my from a really personal approach, so AutoCAD is quite quite powerful. You can do a lot with AutoCAD, and if you are used uh, uh, to to have to to be in one uh, CAD system, uh, it's hard to change. Um, but this is in personal in personal opinion. I'm quite sure there's a lot of useful. Uh, there's also some open source uh, 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 free of charge uh, CID systems at the moment, so there's a lot. Uh, but I, I would um, recommend any uh, lighting designer, any Redux operator, to be at least a minimum into a CID application. You, theoretically, you can do anything in Redux directly, so there's, there's theoretically no need to go into a CID application to, to in order to use Redux uh, properly. But uh, there are some options, some useful stuff you can do in a CAD application directly on the drawing before you're putting it into, into Redux. Uh, so I would recommend uh, to do the following uh, stuff directly in the CAD application and not in Redux. It's possible to do it in Redux, but with less 
uh, with less uh, uh, tools and options and maybe with another view on the on the stuff as in real CD application. So the first of all is the scale. You have to scale the drawing to something you know. So normally I would recommend to scale one unit. You have in CD applications, you have just unit. A unit could be a millimeter, a meter, an inch, and whatever, uh, whatever unit. So it's not defined. In CAD applications, you have just units. And you need to be sure that one unit is, for example, one meter. I would recommend one meter, one unit. This is the most uh, easiest and simple way for at least four plans. If you just have one room, maybe millimeters here in Europe. In, in the States or somewhere else, you have some imperial units, fine. The most important thing you have to know the scale. You have to know the scale quite well before you go into Redux. This is the best way. We have some tools in Redux. I will show you to do to deal with this also in Redux. Uh, but in CRD, you see more and can have probably the better tools for to to, uh, to do it. The other way, the other stuff is I would recommend to delete anything you do not want to see in Redux. So I would delete all the legends. I would delete this um, CID uh, header uh, or information on the on the creator and so on. I would delete anything which you don't not need to see in Redux. This helps a lot in, in performance. This also helps a lot in import export processes and it makes it more, more lightweight as you complete drawing. And in some CID drawings you have a lot of information. Probably you don't see the information because it's somewhere hidden on some hidden layers. I also recommend that you check uh, all the layers uh, in, in AutoCAD, uh, for example, but all in other CAD applications, you have a lot, uh, you, have a, you have a view of layers. So any CAD application has some layers. Uh, I would recommend to to uh, to, um, to visualize all the layers. There is often a couple of layers which is hidden, which is not visible. I would visible all the stuff you have in the, in the drawing and then uh, to delete everything which you're not interested in. So scale, delete anything you don't need. We'll also make a purge, uh, delete anything, blocks you don't need and so on. And then um, you have to, to rotate it, maybe. So in normal situations, it's it's clear and rectangle, but uh, there are some drawings that might be useful to, to rotate, but this is um, less common. And another thing is to decide for an, for an origin. Uh, origin is this uh, zero, zero, zero position. And this is also important to, to know, where is the zero, zero, zero in my CID? Uh, typically, in, 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 in Redux, is it the lower left area of the first room? So here in this area somewhere. But it's up to you where to put this origin. But this has an important role by, in, in putting, uh, by putting this CID drawing into Redux, uh, that, you, that you know where's the origin. And it should be yeah, visible or known by you where's the origin. And that's all. These are the stuff I would recommend to do this in a CAD application. Okay, then um, let's import this CAD drawing into Redux. I have opened up Redux already. So, and here we have a couple of options to put stuff in. Um, and here we have interior. I go to rooms, uh, interior with CAD plan. I click on it. I skip this and I want to create a floor. And I have a different kind of room height in this. This is, this is in school building, an, old, an older building um, used as in school. I know this is 3.4 meters high. And here I have to select the drawing. Easy. And here it will be really, really fast if you have just what you want to see. If you have complete other stuff on it, it could take a couple of seconds. Yeah. And here, if we are no one unit is one meter, you can just select here one unit, one meter or millimeter or inch, feet, whatever. And if you are unsure, you can go to determine. I will show it later on, not here, cause here it's perfect. I know it's one meter, I was in CID. But if you don't know, uh, you can determine it. I will show you uh, with the next example. Then you can select the rotation. If it's not rotated in your CID, you can here, you have the chance also with data mine to select, okay, this uh, angle should be orthogonal and then you can go for it. Or you direct type in the, the angle you want to rotate it. Um, yeah, sometimes you know this is 30 degree, okay, then put it 30 degree in this, in this, in this set axis. And then here's the origin. The origin is here, uh, Redux tries to find the first uh, pixel in the left uh, lower corner. Um, here I would always recommend to just type in zeros. zeros. Zeros is the guarantee 
that you have the, 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 the origin of your CID drawing, the same origin which you have in Redux. This is great to have uh, in order if you exchange the drawing, uh, if you have to change something, if you um, if you uh, have to reload it, then it's easy to have the same origin at 000. Uh, here you can also go to determine, I will show you later, and to set the origin on the drawing directly. That's all. Then we have it here uh, loaded into Relux desktop. And this is our drawing. And now, uh, if the drawing is in, you can go uh, corner by corner. I just um, uh, take out the, the grip snap. I won't just have the CID snap, and it snaps perfectly on the CID elements, on the vectors. And pressing Enter, and now you have the room entered directly. If you, uh, if you hold down the control key, uh, then you instantly go to the next room and you can quite fast go room by room. This is the standard way. What I want to show you is another interesting way to putting in rooms out of a CAD drawing into your Relux design. And this feature, you find it by insert, insert in the ribbon, and here's a button from CID plan. Sounds interesting. From CID plan, you can directly import an interior scene, an exterior scene. Uh, also measuring objects uh, and also some base objects like yeah cubes and so on and here it's interesting to have the room the interior room uh, you click on this from cid interior and now you can click an polygon and this polygon will be a room polygon is a closed line of vectors with a couple of coordinates and now you have with the mouse you have uh, on the cursor you see this upper arrow symbol and now you have to find the polygon of the room. Ah, here I have it. It's now a bit of yellow uh, highlighted. You click on it, click enter, and the room is in. So once more to demonstrate from CD plane interior, you have to find the room polygon, click on it, and it's in. Once more to see that this is a really, really fast process, you have to find the room polygon, enter, and it's in. Let's check in 3D. You see, this rooms I have just clicked. This one is half manually uh, drawn, and this is here with all the details are just putting into it one click. So it's really easy to, to have this complete floor or all the floors just clicked, and the rooms are in Redux. Nice tool. I, I really like it. Um, I just discovered this tool um, um, by by employing it to to Redux before it was not known to me. I missed a lot of. Um, uh, of information. Okay, uh, this is this is really nice tool. Um, you but you need to have an, an, an polygon or at least single vectors of your room, which are uh, uh, which are close together. This tool works also if you have just single vectors, um, but they need to be closed in order to represent in room. In this case, you just click one wall after another, but it has to be closed, and then you have also the same effect within within room. I just want to show you how to find out if your rooms have polygons in, 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 in CID. In AutoCAD, um, it's possible that you, that you check also for, for something like this. This is a polyline in the room. It's also possible that you create your own polylines in AutoCAD uh, or in other CD applications that you created by yourself. And it's maybe faster to, to just click it in Redux if you are skilled in, in, in your CID application. And, and also, um, Architects or, or other disciplines also use this polygons in, in CAD applications because this polygon uh, provides you the area of the room. So if somebody wants to uh, to measure or to to calculate the room size, you just take in this room polygon and then you have it here on the side uh, the the area uh, of this of this polygon. This means the room area. So here we have 73, 74 almost uh, square meters of this piece. This is nice to have this polygons and somewhere. Maybe on a hidden layer, so it makes also sense to not just for deleting stuff. It makes also sense to to visual and unfreeze um, all the um, all the all the layers in order to see. Okay, so there are some in hidden layer which room polygons for measuring the areas, and this you can reuse in Redux just by clicking uh, to to import it uh, into Redux. And uh, if you get lost and you do not know if there is a polygon or not, uh, there's also a nice uh, AutoCAD option. It's called Sadly, here is in German, but in English it's quick select. Quick select. If you click on quick select in the context menu, you can say, okay, here I 
go for the complete drawing, polygons, and all of them. Click OK, and now you have all your polygons on the mouse, and you can easily to see you can move them aside. And now you see, okay, these are my polygons, and luckily I have all the rooms uh, in polygons. Here's also some, I don't know, seeding elements, polygons. Um, I have no clue, but the rooms are there. Okay, this is this is the idea. What you also have in Relux, if you have imported CRD plan, you have um, no, not here, but here, you have some properties on the imported uh, CID uh, uh, drawing. You have uh, here, for example, the positioning to put it in. You can also here correct after the import, the, the origin of your import, also the rotation. You can change it here directly. You can also refresh your plan. You can change the drawing. You can change the DWG file. Um, uh, you can change the scale in numbers. So by 10 or by one, whatever. And you have here the complete layer structure. Uh, the complete layer structure with the colors and you can change the colors. If you don't like this yellow, you want to read it, but it's it's too yellow, the contrast is bad. You can exchange this yellow to something else. You can change the colors and you can also switch on and switch off all the layers. For example, you can also select everything here. Uh, sorry, I have to forgot. I have to deselect it first. And now I select the rest of it and to sync, and now all the layers are switched off, the, vis the visualization. And now I switch on just um, the layer where I know there were the polygons on it. The, and this layer has the polygons on it, and now I have all the room polygons here, and it, now it's even more easy to select and to import the rooms in, in one click. This is what you can do with CIDs in Redux. Okay. Another topic uh, to bring in drawings is background images, pictures. And I was also going to show you this. I have um, found one picture, I want to import it. Um, in Europe, it's quite common, I guess worldwide, it's quite common to have some kind of emergency route drawings. And uh, you have also in almost all the European buildings, you have a an, an, an drawing like this uh, publicly available. This means if you want to do a lighting design of a building where you don't have MCLE, or an, 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 an floor plan or something. You just make a picture with your phone um, of this emergency route plan and you have the, the floor plan uh, to you. And this is also easy to import in Redux. You can import all images in JPEG and BMP and VMF, not, not all the formats, but a lot of formats. You can import directly in, in Redux desktop. I'm going to show you. Um, there's one feature in uh, interior of background image. And here we're going to have a small assistant, sub assistant. This is also in flow. I don't know the high. You have to think about how high the rooms are. And you search for it. I found this emergency route plan uh, as in JPEG. I open it up. And here it comes. Here it's, it's hard to say, okay, this complete uh, image has. Uh, this meters in length and this this is close to impossible to know. And here's this dirt mine option, which I also have on the CAD um, drawings. Can I use here? And here it's really, really practical. With this dirt mine um, features, I have to pick and tell Relux how long this picked distance is. So I have to know a distance. You need to have a known distance. Uh, bad luck in this in this uh, photo, in this picture, I do not have any. Um, um, measure in it. There's somewhere you have some some kind of global measures where you see here these are 10 meters or somewhere in black and white um, uh, rectangles somewhere. Not here. Here I have no measure at all. And, and, and tip is um, at least in Europe uh, the most of the door width is one meter. Could sometimes be 90 centimeters, sometimes also one meter and 20 centimeters. So this is not so standardized in Europe, but the most of the doors, uh, try yourself <laughs> within scale, uh, the most of the doors are one meter. And, um, or some other known distance. If you have some toilet seats, for example, toilet seats are 50 centimeters. So you have to know some measures, uh, and I'm sure you know some measures if you are in this business. And so a door should be one meter. So now Redux told me this picked length of the door is 0 0.17 meters. This is too, too less. I say, Relux, this is one meter. 
go for one meter and now it scales automatically to this one meter. So you have just to have a known distance. Next part is the rotation. I'm fine with the rotation. I do not want to determine it. You can also say, okay, this is orthogonal. Uh, and here you have to select the origin. This is here zero, zero, zero. And here I'm going to show you the determine. I have here, um, here here's the zero, 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 the origin, but I want to move this to the inner lowest left side of the first room. Okay. These are the coordinates now for the origin. And now I'm done. And now I have here my background image. And I now I have, I have not the option to take the polygon again, because there is no polygon, there's no vector information in it. And um, I go in here to take this room by the polygon method. One each room corner has to be clicked once. If it's helpful, you can have an, an, an quit snap on it. Maybe not. If you want to override this quit snap, you can hold down your shift button, also possible. And if you're done, you click enter and then the room is inside. And let's check in 3D. In 3D, you have also the background image, which is uh, in the most of the cases quite helpful to see the background image. And here you have your lonely room and you can go uh, for all the rooms you want to, to calculate in the end. This is the option with pictures. Similar to the options with pictures is uh, our geolocation approach. You can also go for interior or external projects with geolocation. Geolocation means we download a background image from Google Maps uh, with three looks. So it's in the, in the end, it's some kind of also background image handling. But here we have a nice helpful assistant to help you with, um, this is higher, six meters, um, for a an, an background image from Google Maps. So we can also make a screenshot of Google Maps, also possible. So for large industry areas, I go in here for a an, for an, for an train station. Um, this is the main train station in my hometown, Leipzig, which I like to show. Yeah, and it's a bit big, so I have to scale it out, yeah. And here I have it, and now I get this background image from Google Maps with this train station, and now I can go here and make this inside graph or in detail, it's up to you. A bit too rough, but here I have now my my outdoor area. Yeah, now we can build in some train stations uh, uh, and so on. You can imagine how it works. And here you have also some some different properties. Here you can also change location again. You can also go from from hybrid to to satellite images. Um, for example, if you do not want to have this um, this this typing on it, uh, not the fonts. So. We have also there's a couple of other options uh, left uh, to also the here's also the zoom uh, level you can detect here and so on and so on. So there's, there's, there's some kind of different options to a background image, but in, technically it's handled like a background image. Okay, um, the next uh, stuff um, is PDFs. PDFs can also be handled in different ways. Um, PDFs can handled in three ways, uh, for uh, to be precisely. Because a PDF is not a PDF, and, or it, you can have different content in a PDF. A PDF is some kind of like a container. You can in, input different things in one PDF. A PDF could be, for example, uh, built out of vectors, of lines. You can have a an, 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 an PDF uh, with a an, with an vector um, setting in it. So this is uh, most of the time the case if you're going to print a PDF file out of a CD application, for example. Um, something like this, I have here an example, something like this. This is coming out of a CAD application and you have here uh, the vectors in it. There are also some PDFs, for example, where you have also, not in this uh, example, where you have the layer structure on it. You can switch on and switch off the visibility of single layers uh, in PDF. If you print out with the Autodesk PDF printer out of AutoCAD, this is really nice to have an overview in PDF. And you can also uh, see that there are vectors in your PDF if you zoom in dramatically. I go in here for 800%. Uh, if we are, if you see something in this scale, and you can still see in this extreme zoom that there are still lines. So the line information is in it. It's not a pixel image. This is a vector image. And um, almost all the CAD um, um, printouts in PDF are in vectors because it makes really sense. Uh, it's 
reduces the, the, the size of the files and uh, the quality is better because you know what is in line and not just uh, here are a couple of pictures together. This is one part of PDFs. Um, most likely the most um, of the lighting designers PDF files are in, in this vector format. But there's also the option in PDFs to put in just an image. You can throw in, in JPEG or in BMP, whatever um, 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 picture, uh, pixel image into, into the PDF. And you can also mix it together. You can also uh, have a um, couple of vector information, uh, some couple of pictures all together in one PDF file. So it's really hard for a software to, to tell this PDF is done by vectors, uh, or this PDF is done by images. Uh, it's you can also have a small image um, on the on the on the on the on the sketch um, just to yeah for the for the logo of the company or something. And then it's also you have an image, a pixel image into your PDF file. So this is complicated. Uh, here's an example for an uh, looks like a vector crawling, but this is an an pixel pixel image, which is just covered in the PDF uh, container. And if we zoom here in by 800%, you see here, okay, this is pixeling up. This is not really in line. It's not sharp. It's something diffuse. Um, and this is an indicator, okay, this is a pixel image uh, inside in PDF. You cannot see it from outside. You have to look inside, zoom a bit, and then you know what kind of PDF you have. And um, it's, of course, it's possible to make here an, an um, it's not possible to put in an, an PDF um, as an image background in, in Redux. So Redux has not an, an image import um, of PDF files. Um, but you can, of course, do a screenshot. You can do a screenshot of this um, and put the screenshot as a background into Redux. This is most common. Uh, I guess most of you have done it before. If you took a screenshot of something, of Google Maps or of this pixel drawing, and then uh, you store this, this, uh, this, this screenshot and import it as a background image and make determine and so on and uh, scale it right and uh, and then you do your job with this room uh, uh, um, creating process. But uh, we have implemented two and a half years ago. We have implemented an, an PD and an, a true PDF converter into Redux, which um, do uh, out of this PDF files and 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 DXF so and CAD um, um, file, and I'm going to show you uh, how this works. Um, let's close here a couple of this reluxes and open up most important a new one. And here we go for this. You have to keep in mind: go for interior with. CID plane. If you want to import a PDF file, go for interior with C CID plane. Imagine you have a CID plane which is just covered in a PDF file. So if I click here, now I have the same as I have you showing in the beginning with this uh, CID drawing, the same assistant. And here you have, here I have searched uh, this DWG file, but I can, you can also select here, you can see it here, you have DWG. You have also DXF uh, and PDF. This are, could be taken uh, as a CAD uh, a drawing. So I'm going here for, for um, um, here this, this uh, PDF file. This I'm going to import right now. And here comes the question. Here, Relux asked me, does this PDF consist of vectors? or pixels, because we have two different ways to extract the information out of a PDF file. If it's going to, to be in vectors, then you really get these vectors out of the PDF file one-to-one -one in Relux, which is great and nice. It's like an, an DWG import, the same quality. If you have pixel, then uh, Relux starts some kind of uh, identification of pixels and try to create vectors out of these pixels, which is, not so nice, I have to say. We will see it like, like it looks. It's not the same way of really having vectors. You um, you will see, I will show you. I know this is vector. Uh, I also, if you don't, if you're unsure, I would also try to do it in vector. Uh, it could happen that you get a failure. It's not possible to, to generate something out of course, there is no vector found in PDF file. You get an error message, but that's all. You lose, you lose, you lose a couple of seconds till it's finished. The screen tick indicates you are done, you are finished. We're going to, uh, to, to go on. 
And here it really makes sense again to determine the, the, the distance. Because if you are extracting out of a PNF file, there is no known distance anymore. So it's not scaled anymore. It's uh, scaled to a paper format. So we have to determine it. And here we have the same game. I have not a known distance, which is bad luck. So I go again for this for this door trick. And here I pick this door and say this is one meter. Now it's scaled fine. And rotate I don't need, and uh, I skip um, the origin in this case. And now I'm here and have here. It looks like and, and feels like a CID um, um, uh, design. I also have this CID snap. I put out the squid snap. I have this CID snap on, and also the CID snap works perfectly, I have to say, um, on this PDF file. And you can go one by room. Uh, the, the, um, the polygon is not there, of course, there's no polygon information in it. So the polygon option doesn't work, of course, there's no polygon in it. Uh, but I have to say this PDF import with vectors works perfect. So it's not, not the same as a background image. You have really the vector information on it. And also not quite the same, because it's just, oh, you have a couple of layers. Uh, the, the layers uh, of the colors. So the one color is one layer uh, by, the, by the conversion, at least. Um, you have also the similar properties as in CID import. Of course, it actually is in CID import. That's why it's in the same uh, area. And, and on the side, you remember the, the, the PDF. And beside the PDF file, uh, we write down to your hard drive the DXF, the CID file. And if you open this up, uh, you have the PDF file converted. There we are in the CD plan. This is a real CID uh, uh, design now uh, with vectors and uh, text and so on, or just with vectors, I have to say. And this is also useful on the side. So with Redux, you got a free uh, PDF to DXF converter, which works quite well. So let's let's uh, also see what happens with this pixel stuff. So I'm going to have a new project again. It's the same route. You go for interior with CID plan. You run into the same assistant. And here we go yeah, again for floor. And here we select the pixel image in a PDF file. And now I say it's pixel. And now it really tries to find any pixel uh, clubs and do it into, into vectors. The result is not the same as if you have vectors um, as in base. But if the, um, if the pixels are uh, really nice arranged, then it works quite well. But here, this is not a good example. This is one example of, mm, this is too dirty uh, to, to have a really good result. Here, I have also to, to determine. And now I can also see what happens. You see here, this is one line of this room, and it looks like this. And with determine, I need also to, to pick a known distance. And here I cannot see the, the distance really. So I have to, to sneak into the PDF files. And I see here, OK, this are six meters. And now I know this are six meters. And as I said, this is an, a bad example for this method. But if you, if you have a really sharp image, the result is going better and better. So this is depending uh, on what you have in, in this image quality. And then you can also, uh, where we are, here. Um, and now you can also do your rooms. I would uh, do off this uh, CID snap. It's, it's in CID application. So it's in CID format now, but uh, there are too many points to snap at the moment. And you can do it something like this and also pick the room corner by corner and the same method. So here it's I guess the, the same uh, the same way. Personally, I would I would like to make a screenshot of this PDF and put it as a background image. But if you want to go for the CID route, it's it's possible in a way, uh, but depending uh, on the quality of the pixel image. But uh, luckily, most of the PDFs we have are more in this vector style, um, and then it's perfect to convert. And it's end of the journey. Uh, what I want to to show and tell you about import. Um, 
Yeah, we have a couple of, of ways uh, to put in rooms um, into, into Relux and we trying to enhance it. There's also GBXML and um, uh, I've not talked about BIM and stuff. So there are a lot of more options. These are the basic ones, uh, drawings and, and pictures. Um, yeah, and if there is some more in it, uh, we will try to get it also in it. Okay, uh, time is up. We have 10 minutes left for questions. So I switch in question mode where I end my screen sharing and I have to open up this question box here and then I'm interested what you're going to ask. And there are a couple of questions. I have some questions on the use of CAD drawings in Redux. Maybe it is too detailed for, the meet, for this meeting. Mm, depends. Uh, can I send can I send some to you to respond? Um, uh, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, Ruth, you can you can send me um, any any question by email. Uh, as long as you know my email. If you don't know my email, uh, write to support at redux.com. And uh, of course, we we can answer anything uh, regarding to to the idea. But keep in mind, CID is a large universe and. There are a lot of different uh, CID um, application and formats on the market. Okay, next question. Um, how do you adjust a PDF to a uh, Redux calculation already created? Um, yeah, if you if you have an, 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 an Redux calculation there and uh, you have a change of the of the PDF file, I would also um, if it's a vector PDF file. I would recommend to deal uh, with this output as a DXF file and to to exchange this. If you have done this conversion into a DXF file, you can do the same magic which you can do with CID DWG files. You can uh, exchange them by keeping the properties of the CID plane, so position, origin, scale, and so on and so on. So I would do it this way, not not to take the PDF. I would go for the converted DXF file out of the PDF and exchange something maybe directly in the drawing by having both um, uh, both the idea uh, draftings open in my autocad depends okay next question um can this be now be exported as a dwg yes everything you see in redux you can export as um, as a dwg file the the rooms uh, so the the, the the walls and so on will be exported in dwg uh, um, uh, um, without uh, without the, 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 the import, how it comes in. If you have drawn it, then it's in the, DW, uh, the, the, in the DWG output, um, but not the background image. The image is not in the import, just uh, rooms, objects, luminars, and so on. The background image is not exported by the DWG. It's possible um, that you put it also in your DWG file as a background image, but then with um, AutoCAD for your CAD application options. Okay, um, I would like to use Relux, but I need to get uh, a proper tutorial. Good question. Uh, we have a couple of self studies uh, and also a couple of YouTube videos. So maybe you find something uh, on YouTube on our website uh, in, in the support area. Maybe you found an, an, an video for, yeah, um, for, yeah, I don't know what you need, probably uh, DWG imports uh, or other imports or interfaces. Um, but we have also self studies, and if this is not enough, we have also the option to uh, uh, to connect you with a tutor, so with a real trainer, a real life living trainer, <laughs> uh, which can contact you online uh, or in real life, and then can go through or with your colleagues uh, through whatever you you want to know. Um, so this is possible. Um, can select wall material. Um, the wall material uh, you have to pick and select in Relux. It's not possible to 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 prepare this on AutoCAD. Uh, this is just something you have to do in Relux. Um, except if you're doing it in Revit, then you can also put it. So this I, I did not mention. There's also an uh, the option to to have IFC via Revit into into Relux desktop. But this route, uh, you have not it as a background or in CID drawing. If you're going to have an, an BIM model, so Revit or IFC, then you have the complete project uh, with rooms, etc. You have not a background image or in CID uh, uh, drawing. You have the real 
rooms already in. So there's no need to, to redraw it. There's also a an, an different route, but the best route to put in rooms is from an IFC or, or an, an, an Revit model. Then you do not need to redraw the rooms and so on completely. So this is always the best option. Um, I also not mentioned there's also a nice tool which, which we sell called uh, Relux Cat for AutoCAD not to mix up with Relux Cat for Revit. We have a Relux Cat for AutoCAD. This is uh, really, really, uh, this is older uh, than the Revit uh, application. And this is also an interaction between AutoCAD and Relux. If you do a lot of, with, uh, with AutoCAD, uh, think about to, to, um, to use this tool. This can easily make the transition from Relux between Relux and AutoCAD really, really smooth. You can change uh, in your DWG file in AutoCAD the position of a Lumina and let them recalculate it by Redux back and forth and so on. Nice tool if you are really down uh, to, to AutoCAD. Next question. Um, can we add multiple DWG files to one project? Um, and can, uh, can we add uh, sections uh, at side views? Yes, this is possible. You can put in uh, a lot of DWG files. Also, side views if you create rooms um, with an with an side um, extraction, then you can also put in uh, also multiple drawings uh, on the, on the on the side view. So it's possible to put in um, how many DWG files drawings you want to have in one project. Also background images, uh, geolocations, whatever you can you can fill it up with anything you have, and you can um, easily in the project manager switch on and off the visibility um, of each um, content. You can switch and on from floor to floor the different drawings you want to see in this specific scene. This is possible, uh, give it a try. Um, next question regarding calculation results. Uh, how we can show average lux levels for emergency lighting? Uh, this is a question um, down to, to emergency light. Um, um, there is, there's an, an output section and there's also a result tab. Uh, in both of this, you can, you can see the, the average lux uh, also for emergency light, uh, this is uh, this is also done in the in the output. But this uh, um, is with the with the latest with, with with the latest version. So please give the latest version a try, and um, please check there was in fun with Relux about emergency light. Um, there's also the the basic stuff uh, for the emergency stuff. We have also uh, in self study course for emergency light. Um, if you want to go deeper, and if it's still not uh, visible to you, um, please send an email to support at relux.com. I insert a DWG, uh, but the button from uh, from CID plane still is gray, not active. Uh, from what it depends that the usage of this insert from CID, if in, if in CID plane is inside, uh, it should be there, it should be not not be gray. It's just gray if you have not on CID import, maybe in background image. Um, I'm not sure. Normally it should work. Um, cannot tell why. In my, in my application, it works quite well um, all the time. Um, yeah, okay, next question. Um, sorry, uh, maybe you also write to, to support it um, if it's still um, not, not solved for you by a couple of tries. Um, sometimes when I import a second DWG for a new floor, the original floors, uh, the original floor appears. Is there a way around this? You need first, uh, if you work with, with, with multiple floors, you need uh, at first to create a new floor and, and select a new floor. If you have select uh, the, 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 the new floor and then goes this import uh, of CAD drawing, then it should appear uh, just uh, on it and not the, the old one. So this should work. If it still not work, um, also go come with your details to support and uh, we find a way. Yes. Probably a bug inside. I cannot say, but uh, for me, with multiple floors, it works quite well. Uh, this, um, uh, but I have shown you in the beginning, uh, there are two, uh, three levels uh, of it, and I imported one after another. But I first created the floor, and then imported the, the drawing, and then I create the next floor, and then imported the drawing, and it works quite well. Okay, uh, is it possible to insert 3DS files in Redux? Of course, this is possible, but not as in Room. You can import uh, 3DS files, um, mesh uh, geometry as an object, as in furniture, as interior, 
um, but uh, also as Luminas. If you are a member of Redux, you can create Luminas with VBS files, but uh, not as in Room. If you want to have an, a mesh object as in Room, you have to go through Revit. Uh, in Revit, it's possible that you that we take any freeform mesh ceiling walls um, into Redux desktop. So if you want to have freeform rooms, walls, and ceilings, uh, you have at the moment you have to go by Revit to have it into Redux desktop. Okay, uh, time is running up. Um, I just pick up um, one more question. Ah, hard decision. Um, just go for the next one. Um, when I uploaded a new XREF, a, an, an external reference uh, on the floor with an origin to match as the building room layout changes, but, but when I do it for each room on the same floor level, the origin changes. I have to change the origin for each room of calculation. If you really have a floor plan with each room, um, then of course each room has to have this origin uh, in the in the absolute uh, values. Um, this is quite uh, quite hard, and I have to say unusual if you have single room layouts. Of course, could happen if you have an exterior an, an interior designer <laughs> which does the furnitures on each room separately, and you have a bunch of um, single room uh, drawings. Then of course you have to find the origin uh, matching to the to the complete floor plan. So hopefully you have the, the complete uh, arrangement of rooms uh, somewhere. And then of course you have to put, uh, put uh, the origin. It's quite hard. I also have to say it makes sense as something I have forgotten to tell um, by the treatment in, in AutoCAD. It always makes sense also to include XREFs. So some uh, drawings come with external reference. This means in your uh, drawing is an external drawing which is just linked in uh, and visible. It's not there, it's just visible. And here is, is as an, an, an option uh, that you can say, okay, uh, import brings us, unite, uh, join uh, the external reference in my DWG file. Then the DWG file grows in size and also in content, but then it's really in. Uh, and this is um, um, much better for the import options because then you see maybe more than before. This is also um, a good hint to deal with external references before you go into Redux. Okay, and there is a couple of open questions, not so many, four or five. Uh, sorry for this, but um, we are out of time for this episode. Next episode is on the 21st of July, uh, and the topic is GLDF again, GLDF second. Uh, of course, we have done a lot of more stuff in GLDF. There are some tools now available uh, to create GLDFs and also geometry, and we have also an uh, in version 1, 1 1.0 of GLDF, and uh, Klaus and I are going to present, and uh, I strongly hope that Klaus will be present uh, on the next episode. He is, he is fine, he is, uh, he is health, uh, but uh, just not here today. Um, yeah, so then thank you very much for your attention uh, to be here, uh, and hopefully you are next time also here in, in, in this live session. Live is much more interesting, and you have the option to ask questions as to be later on on YouTube. And of course, this episode is also like the last episodes uh, available on YouTube if you want to uh, go back uh, to one step I've shown before. Okay, good. Then have a nice day and see you in the next episode.